Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, this demo is, uh, you know, to show you how does one install the AMP World app and how do you register for the upcoming NTS 2024 examination. First, you know, for the Android users, all you have to do is go to the Play Store. And uh, there in the Play Store, in your app, search for the AMP World app. AMP space world app. So you will see that, you know, there is, there, there would be one app, uh, you know, with the AMP space world with the AMP logo in it. You have to click on install. If you already have the app installed with you, in that case, you what, what you have to do is just open the app. That's it. So in this case, you know, we are uh, installing the app for the first time. So now once the app is installed, then only you can start the registration. Click on open from here to get launched. So first you will see this page, the landing page, then it will move on. In order to register for the upcoming NTS examination that will be held on December 7th, you have to register with your mobile number. So will you have to give your registered mobile number here. Okay, whatever be your mobile number, just enter that mobile number. And once you enter your mobile number, click on send OTP, you will receive an OTP on your registered mobile number. Okay, wait for a few seconds before you receive the OTP. Do not try to, you know, go back and then uh, install it one, one once again because the OTP will usually take some time. So now we received the OTP and we are entering the OTP here. So you will receive a different OTP. So, you know, you have to enter that OTP only. Click on verify OTP once you receive the OTP. Here, you have to register with your personal details. Okay, so whatever be your full name. Okay, so those names you have to give. Okay. And uh, don't uh, try to change the mobile number here. Okay, so for example, if your name is Altaf Sheikh. Okay, so you have to give your, uh, you know, the uh, name as full name and give your mobile number here and uh, don't change the mobile number and uh, give your email address, okay? So it, it can be anything. It can be your, uh, it is very important that you give a valid uh, valid mobile number, a valid email address as well. In this, for the demo purpose, we are just taking a test email address, but we recommend that you use a real-time email address. Okay, you give your date of birth, fill in all the details. Okay, so afterwards, okay, give in a mobile, give the date of birth as well. Okay, this date of birth is very important uh, because based on this, you know, your category would be decided. Okay, give the state as well. Okay, in this case, we are stay, we are selecting the state as Telangana. Okay, and uh, we're selecting the city as Hyderabad. Okay, and then the user type. This is important. If you are a student who wants to use the mobile app to register for the NTS examination, you have to choose student as the user type. The rest of the types are for different purposes. For the NTS examination, if you are a student, you have to use the student option. But if you are a school or a college or institution who, would, who are registering under the NTS program, in that case, you have to select school slash college slash institute. But for students, I'm repeating, the user type has to be student. Now click on student and then click on save. Once you click on save, okay, you get this message that the user has been created successfully. This user registration is for the AMP World app that you have done. Click on OK. You would be redirected to the dashboard. Now we are in the AMP World app dashboard. In this mobile app, okay, you will see that, you know, the, there are different options over here. Because we are registering for the NTS examination, click on NTS, National Talent Search 2024, the first option. Just click on that. And because you're a student, so click on student registration is what we are doing. But before that, I'll show you, I'll talk about the other options too. For the institution registration, okay, you have to, if you are a school who is getting registered, click on institution registration. My registration details are basically, you know, once the registration is complete, if you want to see your details, instructions of NTS can also be viewed from here. Frequently asked questions, FAQs will be shown in this FAQ section and mock question papers. We are also providing you with mock question papers. Okay, so that question papers can be viewed from here. Let's start with the student registration now. Click on the student registration in order to get started for the NTS examination. Here, 
you have registered for the AMP World Lab. Now it's time for you to register for the NTS examination. Now you have to give your the name of the applicant. You can give your details, okay? Or if you are creating for someone else, also the account, okay? The if you are if you want to register someone else for the NTS examination, you can, you know, go ahead. Now we'll use the same name, Altaf Sheikh, okay, for the uh, registration here, and uh, gender male, okay, and uh, date of birth as well. Okay, select a date of birth, okay, which is uh, you know, two thousand. Yeah, select uh, the date of birth. Once you select the date of birth, confirm and you enter the address details. So the address details, okay, you have to give your residence address details, okay, uh, as uh, you know, whatever be your residential address, okay, that that uh, street, that address you can enter, okay, Market Street, give full address, that will be helpful. And also the, the state, okay, state as your registered, your current state. Telangana, okay, and Hyderabad. Okay, you once you once once you choose the state, you will get all the registered districts in your in your uh, state. So select Hyderabad and then the Mandal. Okay, so you can select. This is not a mandatory field, but you can you you can you know give. Okay, select Amber Pet first one. We'll select first Mandal, and then the pin code. Just give you know the pin code as well. Okay, once you give the pin code, the contact number because you know this is an NTS registered examination. Okay, you can give the applicant's contact number. This is important for you to receive updates. Okay, so just enter the application applicant's contact number. The same number can be given that you have used, you know, for the registration as well. So with one mobile number, only one registration can be done. Your email address. And then you have to enter your uh, uh, you know, the parents' uh, mobile number as well. Okay, please enter the mobile number of the parent. And after that, the student Aadhaar number. Okay, Aadhaar number is very important. Okay, please enter the Aadhaar number properly because based on this only, you know, the future updates can be done. Okay, so the Aadhaar number uh, has to be like in a proper format. Okay, please enter the format that you have. Okay, please don't try to enter some random Aadhaar number. Because based on the other number only, the verification, the uh, the uh, you know updates can be performed. Okay, Cl uh, click on continue now. Okay, once you enter all the details. Now this one is important. The institution, the the category. This is this is you know you have to choose this. Are you a school student or a junior college student or a degree college student? Okay, if you are appearing for the school level examination of NTS, choose school. If it is you know, junior college, then choose junior college, otherwise degree college. Let's go with school now. I'll select school. So you have to give your name of your school or college. Okay, so enter the, you can give some sample name here. But before that, if you just type in your school name, if you find your school name in the list that is provided below, select that. Don't try to duplicate it. If you do not find the name of your school in that list, then you have to continue typing. In this case, if you're typing, if I'm searching for Hyderabad International School, so I'll type in HY, okay, HYDAR. Um, so my school name has come, I'll select that school name. If I don't find my school name, you continue typing, okay, and select the current class and grade. S school, 8th, 9th, and 10th students are eligible. So to select, you know, if you are, are, are a 10th class student, just select 10th class, okay, and uh, once you select the option of school here, Change the line, choose the language of exam. Okay, so if you if you choose, uh, we are supporting five languages, the exam will be conducted in five languages, but okay, if you have to choose only one language, so select English here, if you are appearing for English exam, if you are select, if you are opting to be part of the NDS examination in English language. This is important, the references, these references are, uh, you know, a mandatory, you have to enter so one reference at least okay with the uh, teacher details okay you can enter your teacher details here just enter some you know uh, name of the teacher over here okay so once you enter the name of the teacher okay and uh, you know the school name okay you can continue with the school name teacher's designation so you can choose the designations are they professor teacher hod Okay, or admin staff, dean or others. So select teacher from here if you are giving the reference of a teacher. 
and the contact number okay so you can you have to give the teachers contact number as well okay so those that contact number okay yeah we'll enter some random number over here in order to continue and then after that that email address is mandatory um, sorry it's optional so you can choose to ignore now the next step is we are in the online ex offline mode okay so if you are going to appear offline examination meaning if you're going to the center and then writing the examination choose the option as offline offline when you do offline okay you have to select the state of your examination center by default whatever state you selected there will come here then the district where you are planning to write the examination okay so select your district from here if you do not find your district okay in this list you will be shown an option there saying that okay exam new exam center will be added soon so just select that in this case there are already you know centers available in these districts so i'll select you know hyderabad here and then the examination center multiple examination centers will be shown we are adding more and more exam centers so you can choose any of the exam center which is close to your location okay in this case i'll select titan school here okay as the as my nearest examination center the second one yes i can click on continue it's important and mandatory that you select the examination center now this is about the coaching center details once you are done with the you know nts examination okay your who can be your training partner so where do you want to take the coaching you can give your preferences here so we will add more and more preferences over here okay so all these you know once you clear the nts examination you can choose you will be given you know the training as per your preference over here so we'll select you know any one of this from here select the first one ajmal super 40 here if you want to choose and what is the coaching that you would like to take je and neat okay you can select okay one of i mean the this option second preference also you can give okay you can select any anything there and then you can select the prep the coaching uh, you know the center over here and then give three preferences always once you give the third preference click on register this is about the coaching center details so this is okay now with this the registration has successfully been completed what you will see is okay please go through the instructions very carefully an exam login id password and link for the online mode is available in the registration tab okay if you are appearing for the online examination if you have chosen offline then your hall ticket will be generated and shown in this app only on 29th november okay your hall ticket will be ready on 29th of november so you have to go to the my registration detail tab to see apart from that okay on a daily basis we have started a helpline meeting between 5 pm to 7 pm you can join this helpline and then if you have any queries about you know, how to register or about the app or what is eligibility criteria and about the syllabus and what are the different uh, you know rewards available okay any kind of query that you have you can join in this meeting the meeting link is below what you can see okay and you can just you know at from 20th october it has already started until 6th of december on a daily basis from 5 pm to 7 pm this helpline will be open you can log in using this zoom id and passcode between 5 pm to 7 pm and ask your query and the team our team will be available during these times to answer all your queries so this is how you register click on okay now to you know move ahead so you are now registered this is your my registration details because there is student this is the please read the instructions very carefully you should not share your login details with anyone else and if you scroll down okay you will see these are your details okay this these are your details and uh, the exam a uh, name mobile your name mobile number category language exam mode etc this login id and password that you see will be used for the mock paper links as well and because you are writing your examination offline your hall ticket will be generated on 20th november 2024 okay uh, you can share the details with on whatsapp uh, you know uh, with someone or self okay using the share option there so this is how you know you can register uh, you know your details now the major query is if you want to edit your details okay you can edit by clicking on the edit option once you click on the edit option okay these details will come up again you have to do it before your hall ticket gets generated 
okay so this is how you can edit your details if you feel that the the details are incorrect or you want to make any correction like spelling mistake or phone number change or any other details okay that can be done from here so this is about the student registration okay and uh, yeah wish you all the best and the instructions can if you can click on read more and then you can go through the instructions if you want to now these are the instructions that we have already mentioned okay your your details are very important because on the nta on the nta certificate that the same name will be visible so there are three categories as we mentioned senior degree college is one category which is for the undergrad students junior colleges will be 11th and 12th and the schools are 8th 9th and 10th of standard one more time the examination will be conducted on the 7th of december 2024 okay so for more details you can visit our website ampnia.org and then you can you know view for more details okay on the national talent search page thank you everyone